swimming with life and movement. Tidal pools are very iconic to our very rocky and reef-strewn coast of California. It originally started as almost like a shabu-shabu type of foie gras dish in which we had raw foie gras and then we just poured a broth over it. By the time it got in front of the diner, it would poach. It was a very nice, interesting texture. Over time, it became a surf and turf dish. I like sea urchin. Sea urchin makes me happy. It's the one creature you always find in Northern California in a tidal pool. Very, very beautiful creatures. I have these very nice butter clams here. They are a little bit big. It's important. Everything is one bite. There's no room for a fork. There's no room for a knife. This deep bowl was made specifically for the tidal pool dish. Part of the pleasure of the dish is being able to drain the last bite by drinking it. Mussels steamed ever so lightly and then shucked where they're almost raw. A raw oyster. This is white kombu. We pickle it. When people bite into it, it's a real surprise because of the acidic element. Scallions. Nori, lightly toasted, and then we tear by hand. And these, of course, will shrink but become very aromatized when the broth is poured on top. The dashi we have is a very traditional dashi, but we poach a lot of fresh and dried mushrooms into it. In this case, it's dried shiitakes. Everything becomes aromatized as the foie gras fat renders out, which is really a pleasurable experience. A little bit of shiitake gel. It gives it little places of light and shadow, and everything is just slowly warmed up. There is natural salinity happening in this dish, mostly from the oyster and in some aspect, the clam. We're relying on the seasoning of the dashi to be the natural saline quality for this dish. People go in and explore. Subadashi desu.